Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today on iOS device, I'm going to show you how to create blank app icons that will allow you to rearrange your screen kind of how you want it. It'll let you move the icons on your home screen to maybe separate positions and have little spaces in between the apps. It's a pretty cool process. It's really easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do it today. So first thing you want to make sure that you have is the pickup app. It's available for free in the app store. You can go ahead and do a search for it. It's called pickup up p-i-c-u-p and once you've done that you can navigate to cydiahacks.com where there's actually a link to this service here and if you tap on the create blank app icons link right there then you can go down and read a brief tutorial if you need to you can download the pickup app and then once you've done that tap on the create blank icons now link this will take you over to the tool iphone website where you can start the process so what you want to do here first is go back to your home screen and put your icons in wiggle mode. So once you're in wiggle mode here, you want to swipe all the way over to a blank home screen just like that. Then we're going to go ahead and take a screenshot of this blank home screen. So after you've taken the screenshot by pressing down the home button and the lock button at the same time, you can take the icons out of wiggle mode here. And then we can go back to Safari to this website and tap on the upload photo button right here. So tap on that and it's going to ask you if you want to open this page in pickup. So we want to tap on open. Now pickup will launch just like this and then you'll see I empty is requesting an upload. So what you want to do is go ahead and tap on photo library so we can select that screenshot there. You'll have to give it access to your photos first but once you have done that you'll be able to pull up your photo library here and then we can go to camera roll and right here at the bottom you can see that we can select this screenshot here and then tap on upload files and you'll see it processing the upload just like this once that's done it'll open up this website again and it'll give you a success message if it's done correctly then you want to swipe down to the bottom here and tap on let's go so it'll be loading here and once it's done loading you'll see a grid pull up similar to this one right here where we have just a grid of a bunch of different app icon positions so once you have these positions pulled up, you can go ahead and tap on a position. Basically, you want to tap on the position that you want to create a blank icon for. Because what it does is it creates an icon with that portion of the background on it to make it seem transparent. So we're going to go ahead and select this second one right here. So tap on that. And once you're on this screen here, you want to tap on the share button down here at the bottom. Tap on the share button and then you can tap on add to home screen. So that's going to place this icon on our home screen and then you want to tap the add button in the top corner. So now you see we have this little icon right here. It doesn't look too pretty right there. If we go ahead and tap and hold and then move it to the first screen and put it in that selected position, you see that it almost becomes transparent. The only downside to this is it does show the shadow there under the icon and that's not really a fault of the website. It's just how iOS works. It shadows all of the app icons. Well, this does work a lot better using a black background. As you can see right here, I've done it up using a black background instead of the stock iOS background or whatever background I had pulled up, but it works a lot better using a black background or even a darker background. And you'll notice on some backgrounds, certain positions work better than others so you really have to try it out for yourself and figure out what you like but it does effectively let you create spaces in between your icons like I said the only downside is this little shadow right there but on a black background or a darker background that's going to be less noticeable or not noticeable at all and then we can go in here into Safari and do the same thing over again just by pressing the back button here and we can select another one so let's select the second row right here and we'll do the same thing add to home screen add and then we can move that one where it goes and we can create these blank spaces so as you can see I've separated these two sides here so go ahead and check it out and let me know what you think down in the comments below. Big thanks to the people over at Tool iPhone who created this awesome, I guess, tweak here. Thanks again for watching, everybody. This is Dom, and have a great day.